Mill Creek Canyon, Utah, in our Class B RV right now. Hey there, how are you? Dr. Dave, I am the RV dummy. We're kicking back. We're, um, here's what we did. Here's what Yoko and I decided to do. Uh, so it's Pioneer Day today in Salt Lake City, which is a big, big, big holiday. Um, usually ends with a lot of fireworks, noise, and stuff like that. And although there's uh, a lot of the uh, festivities have been canceled because of the um, pandemic and social distancing and all that, we decided what we would do for dinner this evening is we got some to go at a local restaurant, packed it into our Class B RV. By the way, if you're brand new to me, it's a pleasure way 2006 XL TS. We had we so we drove up to um, we drove up Mill Creek Canyon, which is about um, total distance, probably about a 20 minute drive from our home. It's the altitude is much higher. It's beautiful here and we just parked in a parking lot here boondocking we're not camping overnight but we just had dinner here in our rv relaxing and chilling and it's one of the um also i want to share something with you we're watching um our neighbor's dog uh we're, let me see if i can, his name is oliver oliver are you okay can you say a quick hi to the camera real quick there he is there he is okay thank you um so maybe our, my next, our next door neighbors will see that also. Um, they're backpacking now, so they asked us to, and we're very, very, very happy to watch their dog. And Yoko is like in heaven all week watching Oliver. She loves it. I love it too, but Yoko is like really into it. So in a Class B RV, we're able to do this type of thing. A Class A, forget it. You can't just drive up Mill Creek Canyon, pull into a parking lot and chill. It's just not gonna work. A Class C, if it's a small class C, yeah, you could do it. You could do it. Um, a, a travel trailer or a um, fifth wheel, it would be extremely difficult just because of the narrow canyon road and also the way you'd have to pull into a parking lot. It would be very difficult. So um, that's another reason that we just love the class B. It's, it's versatile. You can go almost, I'll say almost anywhere a car can go, but we've got everything here we, we sat down on the sofa um, of course the sofa does convert into a bed which we're not going to use tonight but um you know we've got our stove we've got our sink we've got our fridge we've got we turn we did turn the generator on and used a little bit of air conditioning earlier because it was a little warm so we had the air conditioning going for a while we got tv in front of me here uh we got a microwave we didn't now of course we didn't use all this we had a bathroom full bathroom but we didn't use all this on this little dinner trip but it was like kind of like a and Yoko's right here. Yoko, you want to say a real quick hi? Come on in and say a quick hi. I'd say this was kind of like a, it was a romantic, a romantic dinner getaway, right? In our class B. Wouldn't you, would you call it that? Yeah. We just, we're just having a fantastic time kicking back, relaxing, nowhere that we have to be in our class B right here, just hanging out, having a lot of fun. It does help. Of course, it helps when you live in an area such as Salt Lake City that has so many different beautiful parks and canyons and drives and lakes and mountains and places you can go. It helps. It helps when you live in a place like this. But even if you don't, even if you know, when we lived back in Maryland, we could have driven to almost anywhere and done. We could have gone to Annapolis. We could have gone to the NCR Trail, maybe. But there are a lot of places. You, know, you can always find a good place to go. And having a Class B makes it that much easier and that much more fun. That's that's kind of all I have to say. I'm a big proponent of Class Bs, but of course, if you've got if you've got a large family, if you've got like you know 17 kids, it's not going to work. Of course, it's not going to work. But just with me and Yoko, and um, you know, when Boo Boo was living, we really missed Boo Boo. By the way, he, he would he would travel with us on every trip we would take in his van. But now. We're, um, we miss him terribly, but we're really happy to be dog-sitting Oliver. And Oliver seems to be having a great time here. So I'm going to leave you. I just wanted to jump on real quickly, do a quick video, and just share with you the benefits, the real benefits of a Class B. If you're a full-timer, if you're the type of place to just drop off your rig at a campground and go other places with like your, your tow vehicle, then no, it's 
class B is probably not gonna not gonna be the one, not gonna be the thing for you. Uh, but if you're like us, and you just like to chill and do some camping trips, and hey, he's licking my oh look at this. Are we gonna get a dog? <laughs> Are we gonna get a dog? Do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I have one. He's so good. He's good boy. He's so good. Oh my god, he's so good. We miss Boo Boo so much, yes, so much, do. but it's an honor to be able to dog sit, mm -hmm. dog sit right now. You might think I'm rambling on and on and on saying this, but I'm, but here's my point. Relaxing and relaxing the mind and relaxing the body and sometimes just doing nothing in a class B are great things to do. It's great to do nothing sometimes i'll leave you with that dr dave that was kind of like a what was that a half kiss and half salute half kiss half salute dr dave and yoko and oliver's down there we all say have a great day evening weekend week whenever you're watching this just enjoy the moment i'm the rv dummy talk to you soon